I believe we're in the middle of a transformational moment in technology that is not just about transforming learning and development. I believe this is the beginning of the change of how work is done. But we've had these moments over the last 20 years where there are these fundamental shifts. And sometimes they were felt iteratively and slowly over time. Uh, sometimes they happen a little bit more quickly and a little more loudly. But I think we're in that next moment in terms of a transformational shift in how we relate to technology and how technology helps us do our jobs. So when we say AI, first of all, the level set, we're generally talking about the theory and development of computer systems to be able to perform tasks that typically require human intelligence. So instead of thinking about AI as a separate tool or a separate feature, we need to start thinking about how it's going to be fundamentally embedded underneath our entire tool set, everything we use to do our job, and how it's going to change the way we interact with those tools. I believe robots will be better at writing assessment questions than humans by the end of this year. And AI is going to be table stakes within core learning tech features this year. By the end of next year, a lot of our admin process will be automated. So enrolling people in programs, right? Making sure people are assigned to the right groups or assigned to the right courses. Machines are going to take care of that. But within the next five years, I believe learning tech is no longer a category. <laughs> within five years, I believe learning technology becomes part of a broader operational technology category. We're not the heroes of this story. We're not Batman in learning and development. We're Alfred, right? We're the, we're the person in the chair who's making sure people can get access to the things that they need, whether it's training, a job aid, information, help, whatever that may be. Get distracted by what technology can do. And we make decisions without having a core set of values to guide that decision-making. Tech should make work easier, not more complex. When we work in a silo and L&D is over here and operations is over there, we make things harder on people. So if you leave today, we'll have a conversation with your team. One, talk about being ready for big changes, right? Not being uh, restrictive, not being afraid of this transformation, being part of the conversation and shifting into kind of an enablement mindset. Number two, establish a vision, right? What experience do we want to create? What is work turning into through technology? What's the experience of work look like? What role do we want to play in that? Number three, evolve our practices. Take a look at your own workflow, right? The things you do every day, the tasks you complete, and start asking the question, can we do these things differently? Or even the bigger question, do we still need to do these things if this technology can deliver the value we're talking about? Feel free to check out my book, jdwroteabook.com. Uh, as I said, my uh, resource website, learngeek.co slash AI. Uh, with that said, I greatly appreciate you joining the conversation uh, today. I think a lot more conversation is going to help us take advantage of what this technology can help us do. Mm -hmm.